summer fashions on parade beside a swimming pool. Outside, the mercury is in the low 30s, but inside, styles by Mr. Mort bring a preview of summer sun. Fashion show, you can be sure. Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're inside one of the largest abandoned hotels in America. If not, this is the largest abandoned hotel resort. It all started back in 1914 when a couple moved here planning to start a farm. They ended up building a farm, getting it all ready, and turns out when they were starting to plant, they couldn't plant. Nothing was growing here. This land wasn't made for planting. So they had to come up with another idea. So they had this idea to build a hotel and it ended up being such a big hit. They ended up expanding, having over 35 buildings at its peak, 1,200 acres of land as well, and it had its own landing strip, post office, tennis court, it had, it had everything. I mean, this place was amazing. People all over the world were flying here at one time. But as time went on, this place did fall. People stopped coming here, and this place did close in 1986. But we'll get more into all this as we go explore. So let's go. Bah! Every time I explore these abandoned places, I'm always like, is today the day I fall through the floor? Let's hope not. Ugh. Yes. Woo! It's unsafe here. But then again, what do you expect for being over 71 years old? So much graffiti here though, but then again, it actually blends in and makes it look more artistic. I like it. I can take lots of cool photos here. Oh my God. Guys, seriously, look at this. It's like from a freaking video game or a movie. That's the pool right there. Look how nature's taking it over. Grass is all growing up from the, the panel floors. Surprised that uh, people didn't throw rocks through these windows. They're all still intact. Damn. This is unbelievable though, seriously. There's so much cool pictures I'm gonna take here. I think that's a diving deck over there. I'm gonna try to go over there and stand on it. Even the sailing fans are still up. I mean, just picture it going back in time. I bet you at least Hundreds of chairs are just lined up here. You know how popular this place was back in the day? They said over 150,000 guests came here per year. But we're at the diving board now. I gotta at least get on there. I gotta stand up. This pool has to be at least 20 feet deep. Everyone just threw all the chairs inside here. This is the most disgustingest water I've ever seen. Ew. That beam of, that beam of light though. There's all the sinks. In the showers. All right, leaving the pool area for good now. Damn, it's like a jungle in here. <laughs> All you hear is the sound of birds chirping. Everything's like freaking overgrown out there. Nothing's cut, no grass is cut. Trees are just flying everywhere. <laughs> Floors are actually caving in. I'll probably go down there right now actually. Might as well check it out. A lot of this is completely falling apart and it's, most of it is because the water damage. Just from the rain and you know being up north, a lot of snow it just really ruins the roofs. And no one's maintaining it, of course. So, just more damage and more damage. Seems like right here was like a big glass um, frame. And the reason why I say that is because over here, if you step through it, you can actually see salon chairs. 
Look how they used to look back in the day. Looks like just a regular chair, but attached to it. <laughs> they're, they're definitely so old. They definitely improved them over the years, that's for sure. But, yeah, definitely there was a salon right here. Or you can tell the, I guess you can say the flashy salon kind of old style wallpaper. Mm, that's why I was like, eh, definitely something right here. Could be like the whole window, like the whole mirror could have been right here. We're trying to get across the other side because these all, all these buildings connect, but the floor was so unstable that we made a boat on it to go upstairs another level because it was safer to get to the other side because the floors really do just collapse here. Who wants to ride on this elevator? <laughs> I don't trust that. I'm loving these hallways though. These are some of the uh, hotel rooms. Let's go see how they looked. Well, they're ugly. You know, just a typical room though. All the beds were either sold off before they closed or they're just all moved to another room. Like all stacked up. That's usually what they do too. If this location gets a lot of snow, this roof's gone for good too. Might have found something good here. Wow. Uh, it looks like it could be like a dining hall. Yeah, it looks like they come down a I love it. Yeah, it could be a huge lobby too. Just look at these. Yeah, the Double fancy. stairway. You think they put a stairs that go straight up? Straight That's up? fancier, man. I like that. That is, fancy. that is nice. Well, I think that's a fireplace down there. Let's go down there and check this out. Yeah, I apologize ahead of time if you can't hear me, but there's a lot of black mold and asbestos here, so I'm trying to protect myself. We're walking on once was probably a red carpet. But we made it down. The architecture of these buildings are amazing. Um, I love how this window is shaped. This is what's good about it. It's good because it looked like a fireplace when I was up top. Peter Pan. <laughs> Trying to use your brain here and just imagine how probably lots of fancy tables were set up here and I don't know. <laughs> Here lies the entrance to some of the building hotel rooms. <laughs> Look how these doors are. Looks like there's actually a door on this side and this side and they slide. So they probably had a white door that was right here for the border. But this place actually has belongings still here. Look at that. Mattresses, bed frames shelves all that's still here an old tv i don't, I don't know that's ridiculous so... so there's still other buildings around the area what we're in we're in the main building um look at this sign we found in the woods though skating hours skate at your own risk which is cool because we're next to this building right here and potentially could be the skating arena because why would that sign be this close to the building we found the skating arena but look how destroyed it is. It's it's like a, a carnival art. That's so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way we could walk it. We shot that shot that scene over there to show you. We tried going around here. Maybe we could walk it, and then nah. There's I mean look at this. Well, there's no way we can walk this. God, I don't even want to stand on it with you. <laughs> so scary. But I just like how it how it looks, that carnival theme, man, that's so cool. Right here should be the tennis court. Ah. <laughs> Look at this. The thing is, it's still set up. <laughs> it's all still here. I mean, it's really just the tennis court. But if they, like, cut the trees and put the nets up, we could still play here. It'd be your own private tennis court. Yeah. On the side of the tennis court lies this little cottage building. Could have been for kids, maybe storytelling back in the day. Who knows what they used for this. But there's this little stage area. This right here was a dashboard for the for an old pinball machine. I know because I used to sell these at my arcade. <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed with this place, to be honest. I expected more here. Everything is so destroyed here. It's almost like freaking 
King Psychiatric Hospital. I mean, that place is wrecked. There's nothing else in there. It's pretty much just similar. So many people have came in and just destroyed it. It sucks. But, hey, man, it's still pretty cool, and the history's great, and that's why I come here. Well, guys, this was one of the largest abandoned hotels in America. It turns out they knocked down more buildings. So I thought there was, like, at least 20 buildings here, but it turns out there's, like, six left, and they're complete trash. Um, I'm a little disappointed, but it's still a cool place to explore regardless. It's still a historic place, and so I still had fun anyway. Uh, make sure you guys check out Danny's, Danny's channel, John's channel. You can see their videos through uh, their perspective. Um, they can see something different that I didn't get to see. I don't know. Um, it's cool also just to check them out in general. Subscribe to them. Subscribe to me. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's always more abandoned, and they're going to keep coming. Take over. Take. Take it.